Okay, now we're going to go over the homework for lesson seven. In this problem, you are rounding four and three tenths to the hundredths, tenths, and ones. I've already put in four ones and three tenths on your place value chart. Now I'm putting 43 tenths, and lastly, 430 hundredths. 430 hundredths is going to go to the bottom of your vertical number line. It's the same as saying 4.3. At the top of a vertical number line is 440 hundredths, which is equal to 4.4. In the middle, you're putting 4 and 35 hundredths, or 4.35. Now you're going to be putting the number 4 and 3 tenths on your number line, which happens to be at the bottom of the vertical number line. So you round to 430 hundredths. Now let's move to tenths. In your place value chart, you have 43 tenths. So I'm putting that at the bottom of the vertical number line. It's also the same as saying 4 and 3 tenths, or 4.3. At the top is 44 tenths, which is equal to 4.4. And in the middle, you have 4 and 35 hundredths. Once again, your number is at the bottom of your vertical number line. So it rounds to 43 tenths. Now we're moving on to ones. So on your place value chart, you have four ones. Putting four ones, which is equal to four, at the bottom of the number line. At the top is five ones, or five. In the middle, you have four and five tenths, or 4.5. Now you're going to be putting your number on the number line. It's four and three tenths. And now you're going to be rounding, and it's rounding down to four. Problem two, 225 and 286 thousandths. Once again, they did not give us a hundredths place on the place value chart, so I put 22 tens. It's the same as saying 22 times 10, and 22 times 10 is equal to 220. I have five ones, I have two tenths, eight hundredths, and six thousandths. Working with ones, I have 225 ones, two tenths, eight hundredths, and six thousandths. I have 2,252 tenths, eight hundredths, and six thousandths. And finally, 22,528 hundredths and six thousandths. Remember, those are all different ways of saying 225 and 286 thousandths. And the reason we're doing this is to help you with your vertical number lines and rounding. Working with hundredths, I'm putting 22,528 hundredths, or 225 and 28 hundredths on the bottom of your vertical number line. At the top, I'm putting 22,529 hundredths, which is equal to 225.29. Your midpoint is going to be 225 and 285 thousandths. Now I'm going to be putting our number on the, not, on the line in orange. It is right above our midpoint. Now you're going to be rounding it rounds up to 225 and 29 hundredths. Now we're moving on to ones. In the one spot, you can see we have 225 ones, which is the same as saying 225. At the top, you have 226 ones, which is the same as saying 226. Our midpoint is 225 and 5 tenths. Now we're going to be placing our number on the number line, and it fits right in between our midpoint and the, ver the point at the bottom. So you'll be rounding to 225. For the tens, you'll be putting 22 tens at the bottom, which is the same as saying 220. The next 10 is 23 tens, or 230. You'll be putting that at the top. Your midpoint is 225. Now you're going to be putting your value on to the vertical number line, which is 225 and 286 thousandths, and it's right above your midpoint. So you'll be rounding up to 230 tens. Or I'm sorry, 230, which is also 23 tens. Number three, eight and 984 thousandths. You have 89 tenths, eight hundredths, and four thousandths. 898 hundredths and four thousandths, 
and 8,984 thousandths. Let's look at A. 898 hundredths at the bottom of the vertical number line. At the top, you have 899 hundredths. And in the middle, you have 8 and 985 thousandths. Now you're going to be placing your number on the number line. It fits right in below your midpoint. So now you'll be rounding down to 8 and 98 hundredths. Let's move on to tenths. You have 89 tenths, which is equal to 8.9. And at the top, you have 90 tenths, which is equal to 9.0. In the middle, you have 8 and 95 hundredths. Now we're going to be placing our number on the number line. You have 8 and 984 thousandths. It's pretty close to 90 tenths. So you'll be rounding up to 90 tenths, or 9.0. Moving on to ones, you have 8 ones at the bottom, 9 ones at the top, in the middle, you have 8 and 5 tenths. Your number fits in toward the top, right below the 9 ones, so you'll be rounding up to 9. Now moving on to tenths. Now you know that this number will be fitting in between 0 and 10. So at the bottom you have 0 tenths, which is equal to 0. At the top you have 1 ten, which is equal to 10. And in the middle you have 5, or 5 ones. Your number goes toward the top, so you're rounding up to 10. Okay, number four. On a major league baseball diamond, the distance from the pitcher's mound to home plate is 18 and 386 thousandths meters. For A, you're going to round this number to the nearest hundred of a meter, and you're using a number line to show your work. Then, for B, You'll be answering the question, how many centimeters is it from the pitcher's mound to home plate? You'll be applying your previous knowledge from lesson four to answer B. Let's work on A. Okay, you know you're working with 18 and 386 thousandths, and we need to round it to the nearest hundredth of a meter. There's your vertical number line. You know you have... 1,838 hundredths, which is the same as 18.38. At the top, you're putting 1,839 hundredths. I'm looking at the hundredths place value and seeing where the whole number will fit in between. Your midpoint is 18 and 395 thousandths. Now I'm going to be placing our number on the number line. I'm looking at the value in the thousandths to determine whether or not it'll be above or below the midpoint. It'll be above the midpoint, so you'll be rounding up to 18 and 39 hundredths. So your answer is 18.39 meters. Now moving on to B. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters, so you'll be setting up your equation using multiplication. So 18 and 396 thousandths multiplied by 100 is equal to 1,839 and 6 tenths of a centimeter. Okay, number five. Jules reads that one point pint is equivalent to 473,000 liters. He asks his teacher how many liters there are in a pint. His teacher responds that there are about 4,700 liters in a pint. He asks his parents, and they say there are 5 tenths liters in a pint. Jules says they're both correct. How can that be true? Explain your answer. This is very similar to the problem you did on your problem set. The last one as well, number five. So let's start. So the teacher rounded to the nearest what? They rounded to the nearest hundredth, as you can see, zero and 47 hundredths. His parents rounded to the nearest tenth. Here's the number line for the teacher. At the bottom you have 47 hundredths, which is equal to 0 0.47. At the top you have 48 hundredths, which is 0 
In the middle, you'll have 0 0.475, and then you have your value, which falls below the midpoint. So you'll be rounding down to 47 hundredths. So his parents, or his teacher, excuse me, was correct. Now let's look at his parents. So you have 5 tenths at the top, which is equal to 0 0.5. At the bottom, you have 4 tenths, which is equal to 0 0.4. In the middle, you have 45 hundredths. Now you're going to be placing the value onto the number line, which fits above the midpoint. So you'll be rounding up. So his parents were also correct. 